Thousands openly cry as the funeral cortege of Uzbek President Islam Karimov makes its way through the capital. The 78-year-old died from a stroke on Friday and will be buried in his hometown. He headed the former Soviet nation since 1989 and many of its 32 million people had known no other leader. Karimov saw himself as the protector of his country against the threat of militant Islam. To his critics, he was a brutal dictator who used torture to stay in power. Under his rule, Uzbekistan became one of the world's most isolated and authoritarian nations. It's still unclear who will take over. The transition of power will likely be decided behind closed doors.